Hi, everyone. Kelly Mahler, occupational therapist, and we're talking about a really big topic uh, right now, and that is about the impact between our health, like our physical health and emotional health, and its connection to interoception. And we know that interoception has such a vital influence on both our physical and emotional health. So let's start by talking about our physical health. Our bodies are designed to send us important messages about how our body is feeling, what is the condition of our body, and that's all happening because of this sense called interoception. So interoception is how we are feeling sensations coming from our body, telling us important information about what our body needs for health and well-being. And so pain, for example, we feel pain because of interoception. So pain is a response that's happening within our body that, that alerts us that something is off, something is going on within our body, especially in cases of acute pain. So maybe you have an injury and that acute signal of pain can alert us that something is is um, off in our body and that we need to do something to take care of it. Um, and in cases of chronic pain, interoception is also at play. And many times people that experience chronic pain are often sent messages um, by people that mean well, but they're getting these messages that maybe their body has a faulty uh, messaging system and they should, they begin to mistrust their body. They begin to um, really kind of disconnect many times from their body because um, of their chronic pain. And so really working on noticing, trusting these sensations that are coming from our body has an incredible impact on our long-term physical health. And so really taking the time to notice and to understand our interoceptive signals is vital to being able to successfully care for our body's needs. And the same holds true on the emotional side of things. These interoceptive signals are also giving us clues not only to the physical condition of our body, but the emotional condition of our body. And so how is our emotional well-being? Um, are we feeling comfort? Are we feeling discomfort? Are we being able to understand these messages coming from our body so that we know what our body needs to promote as much comfort as possible? And so maybe it's noticing a certain feeling in your body. Like for me, I, like I get a really tight feeling in my chest when I am getting anxious and being more aware of that has helped me begin to manage my anxiety in a more successful way. Uh, but up until then, I was a person that wasn't really slowing down and listening to the messages that my body sends me. And that includes both the physical health side and the emotional health side. Um, I tended to push through, be tough, don't listen to my body, no pain, no gain. All of these things are sending us messages, don't listen to your body, what your body is telling you is not important. And what we're finding now through this interoception side is the opposite is true, that we need to take the time to slow down, to notice the way our body feels and do that in a way that feels safe to our own nervous system and bodies. Uh, there's no right or wrong way to start tuning in to notice the way your body feels. There's also no right or wrong way for your body to feel. And we really need to celebrate how uniquely different all of our bodies are. And I, I think that we're getting a little bit better, um, but for so long, um, many people have had their inner experiences invalidated. Um, and we need to get better at validating each person's personal inner experience. So until next time.